Hey. So, a couple of days ago, we were looking into going to Washington, D.C., just because I haven't spent a lot of time there, and I would really like to explore the museums and the sites and stuff. Um, and so, we had an idea, mm -hmm. after looking at all the Airbnbs and how expensive it would be, uh, we had an idea, and yeah. Jonathan is going to tell the story of that. Yeah, so at work... Um... Like Tara said, she was looking at all these places. It just seemed like it'd be too expensive. And one of our friends just said, why don't you just sleep in your car uh, for a whole weekend? That doesn't really sound like it'd be a lot of fun. No. And we'd probably be grumpy and sleepy and... Not comfortable. Not comfortable. So, but actually what we thought is, well, Tara has a Buick Rendezvous. There's a lot of space with all the seats rolled down um, or folded down. Yeah. Why don't we just... Uh, turn her car into a little camper car. Yeah. And so that's kind of what we decided to do in the next couple of days. We're probably going to get some materials and convert convert my... her car into a little camper car. Yeah, convert my car into a little camper car. Yeah. So stay tuned yeah. for updates and videos of us converting my car. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> High five. Hey, so the first thing we had to do was just measure the inside of the Terra's car um, before we got any supplies or anything like that, just so we knew exactly what we needed to buy. Um, we ended up getting plywood and 4 x 4 so uh, just having those measurements written down before made the shopping really easy. Hey guys, you can't really hear me in this video, so I'm just going to tell you what we got at Lowe's. We have a sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood. We had them cut it into 37 inches, 37 and a half inches, and then we had some left over. We also got two 8 foot 4 by 4s that we used as legs. We got some drywall screws and a rug for the surface of the bed. So our bed was actually divided into two parts. We had a back part and a middle part. Our back part was going to be over the folded down seat so the legs had to be a little bit shorter. Um, so I cut four legs for the back at 11 inches and then I ended up cutting four legs in the front at 20 inches. Hey, it's me to tell you you gotta drill those suckers down. I used four screws in each leg. This was also after adjusting the legs to make a level surface. Uh, it took a little bit for each platform, but we finally got it. And this is us very happy that we're finally installing it into the car. So these steps are optional, but I just covered the surface of the bed with an old mover's blanket. I stapled it over and on the bottom of the uh, surface. And this just prevents me from getting any splinters because I'm very accident prone. And it also just makes it look visually appealing in my eyes. So this step isn't required, but it's just something we wanted to add in case we were ever driving around without the mattress. It just makes it a little bit homier still. Over the moving blankets, we added a rug that we got from Lowe's. We bought some one inch nails to hammer into the plywood. Uh, some other things we want to add later is going to be a curtain for some privacy over the windows. We want some lights to hang around. Um, we also were going to make some bug nets. Just so if we ever want to sleep with the windows open, we'll hang those in the windows. And then finally, we'll just get some storage bins to put in the storage space underneath. 
okay. We're all carpeted and we got a nice little platform. Yep. And Jerry has his nice little spot underneath. Oh, Jerry! Jerry! Hey, Hi, buddy! buddy. Oh. Hi, Jerry. Do you like it? Hey. Hey. There we go. There's the bed. There it is. Yep. Looks very comfortable. How is it? Nice. We're in. We have our pillows, our blankets. Yeah, our fur blanket. And we are cozy. Yeah. We have storage underneath. Tons of storage. Yeah. You can easily open and close the doors too. Just like that. Yeah. So it'd be nice. We could just to have the windows open. Yeah, it would be nice. It could get hot in here. We're yeah, talking it about. could. But we are happy. Happy yeah. campers. Yeah. Nice. Project completed. That's right. So right now, we're going to show Jonathan's sister and brother-in-law, and also, I guess, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, <laughs> um, a surprise, which is the bed. Um, so I'm going to record their expressions. Nice! That's awesome! We made a bed! With storage. Nice. I like it. Oh, like is it, it super comfy? It's so comfortable. What? Oh, y'all should put out. lights up in I there. I know. Hey, Jonathan, turn on the lights in the car. Five Below has super cheap lantern lights. You want to get in? Get in. What? Get in. How do you get in? Just, just right there. Just, just crawl in? Yeah. Just crawl right in. I don't want to get dirt all over everything. One second. Take off your shoes. Take my shoes off. Oh. What? Did you guys go anywhere yet? No, we just built it today. Wow. Like wow. it? Wow. Holy cow. It's comfy. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's super comfortable. It's really comfy. Oh my gosh, I just made a camper. Yeah, we just made a camper. <laughs> That's what I got out of this. <laughs> so all we need to do, because the nice thing about this door. You can close it? Can you close it? Watch yeah. It. Yeah, it'll like stay shut too like that. Wow. So like on a nice night, you can wow. just keep it open. Yeah. And then, yeah move your Hey. No. Three, two. Hey. <laughs> so this is only half of it, the other half. It's a low battery. Sorry, go on. Same video? Yeah. So this is only. High five. High five. <laughs>